Hello and welcome to Dash Cam Diary of a Disgruntled Disabled Veteran. Episode Medication. I just want to say how stupid of it how stupid of a thing it was that I spent two hours on the phone today calling almost every single pharmacy on Google and the town next to me to get my medication filled because nobody carries it in stock or only has like a hundred out of the thousand milliliters I need. It's flipping ridiculous. I just, I think this is crazy. Like, WTF. I have problems with absorption in my stomach because of gastroparesis, an uh, actual medical condition, which is a paralyzed stomach. So it doesn't digest everything, and hence why I have a lot of food allergies and sensitivities, and I have to really watch what I eat. Uh, and it gets really boring eating the same thing all the time, honestly. stigma around pain, pain medication and this is not even for a long term for me. This is a short term or medium term. I don't know what you want to consider it but it's not going to be more than six months worth. That's for darn sure. Uh, I'm going to make sure of that. I'm not trying to stay on pain medication because it makes my gastroparesis worse. Pill form or liquid form. It don't matter. But I need to be able to absorb the flipping medication and if I can't absorb it, I, you know I have to take more pills to try and get the same effect. And it's not because I'm trying to or trying to OD or anything, but my body metabolizes medication too slow and too fast. So it's pretty stupid. And for pharmacies not to carry a liquid form of this medication is just, it really bothers me. I, it's ridiculous. Like. What about other people like me? Like, I'm not trying to get pharmacies to keep it on stock for me personally because I don't plan to be on it for very, very long. Uh, but it also depends on if I keep injuring myself like I did last night. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain and I wasn't about to go in person to any pharmacy over a 20 minutes drive just to find out whether they had it or not. And so I was on the phone for two hours in bed with a heating pad on to try and get me to stay somewhat relaxed because my muscles are so pissed off <laughs> because of my fall last night. I'm a fall risk. This is why I'm training my service dog. She wasn't much help last night until after the fact and then she was trying to console me. <laughs> she's more an emotional support at the moment, but she's trying. I'm trying to train her for task training but I can't do that with my disabilities at the moment and with her disabilities as well because she's been sick for like uh, with infections of all sorts for like four months straight so it really put us behind on training on top of my lack of being able to get her to exercise enough exercise every day uh, poor thing uh, she gets exercise don't get me wrong but it's, I, I felt like she really could benefit from more exercise <laughs> course. If I could exercise, I flippin' would, uh, but due to my dysautonomia, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, my blood pressure drops and my heart races when I go to stand up and it makes me pass out. Um, I didn't pass out in last night's episode, however, uh, I have a poor sense of where my body parts and things around me are in its space around me, and if I'm really not paying attention, like I wasn't last night apparently, I sat down on nothing and fell to the ground and sat on my right headlights uh, and fell right on my sit bone and it really flicking, flipping hurts. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse here. <laughs> uh, I don't want to lose my chance at monetization at some point if I ever get subscribers. So if you're watching and not subscribed, please subscribe. 
property, please. <laughs> It'll help me. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm not here to beg for that. I'm here to just tell my story. And if you listen, great. If you don't, great. You know, uh, everybody has a choice to listen or not. And please don't give me any hate comments. So even though I know there's lots of haters in the world. Uh, and I'm bound to have some at some point. Uh, but I'm just a disabled veteran at 43 years old. I got disabled at age 30, which was very devastating. And I had planned to make my career 20 years in the military, and I only made it nine. Uh, and I was already up for E7, and I was doing really well for myself, and I had a fat paycheck. And so I'm really disgruntled that I really uh, can't work anymore because uh, that really sucks at age 30. And then being told by doctors, you're too young to have all this pain. I'm like, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, but uh, I'm in pain. It doesn't stop people and children from having leukemia. They're not too young to have pain and problems, so uh, stop gaslighting me. That's where my medical PTSD came from, doctors. Uh, telling me I'm too young to have pain, I'm too young to have this, or I'm exaggerating, or whatever. You know, I've had lots of problems with medical and professionals, especially with the VA. Uh, so, I'm not about that anymore, and I choose my doctors wisely, and uh, I only ask for certain medications at certain times because I have dealt with the VA and then cutting off my pain medication. So I, I know it's not an opioid crisis and there's so many politics behind it. But for the fact that pharmacies don't even have it in stock though, I, I feel like it's only pushing, not that I would, but I feel like it's only pushing black market stuff that is going to flip and really kill people and uh, for people that are on pain medication long term. They're usually typically given Narcan like I was when I was on it for long term, which I do not intend to again. Uh, I just, I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's just I would rather do without and deal with my pain so I can work on my pain. But uh, due to circumstances lately, I haven't been able to work on my pain very well because my other symptoms and stuff are not managed very well. So it, all in due time. I'm going to get myself off of the medication as soon as I can, but in the meantime, I can't even get my full prescription tonight. I'm only getting like, I can't even do the math, but I don't want to say the numbers of how much I'm getting. <laughs> uh, but it's more than my insurance is going to cover as well. So I don't even know what I'm going to be paying out of pocket. I'm just, I'm just kind of splitting that part too. I'm like, this is lovely so my insurance will only approve 30 days but I don't see why they just couldn't cover 30 days for me and we pay the difference for the whatever over the 30 days that they think that I'm getting uh, this is only gonna last me 30 days what I have <laughs> but apparently it's more than what my doctor is supposed to subscribe or prescribe or something I don't know I, I don't get it but hopefully I don't need another prescription at the, the, after this because I won't be able to get it I, I seriously won't. My pharmacy in my town doesn't co carry it. And not, none of them carry it, honestly. And the other pharmacies have very little. And who knows if they'll ever order it again. Uh, it doesn't sound like any of them want to order it. Uh, I feel like they just don't even want those issues. And, which is stupid. I, I wish it wasn't like this for this healthcare system and the way insurances work and uh, the stupid political opioid crisis BS and look how everything is getting out of control with homelessness and mental health issues and drug addiction. Yeah. See what happens when you prohibit something? It only goes to the black market and makes things worse. I mean, alcohol prohibition, I mean, just look at that. I mean, and now look at medical MJ. Now that it's more prevalent, they aren't having that many issues now, are they? I mean, certain states, I mean, I suppose, you know, and then the states that don't have it legal in any sense, you know, then, yeah, of course that's an issue, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. I gotta go in there and go get this uh, situated, and hopefully I, hopefully I'm not gonna go broke over it. So, have a happy festive holidays and uh, evening, guys. I will do another update soon. Peace out.